Welcome! In front of me I have Xiaomi Redmi Watch 3 and I'm gonna show you how to enable the phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch. Before we start, if you want to receive the notifications from your phone on your watch, your watch needs to be paired with your phone via the Mi Fitness application. Once the devices are paired together, we can continue and now we can open the Mi Fitness application on the phone that is paired with our watch. Once you open the app, you will see the health page. Now tap on the device icon to open the device page. And on this page, you should see your Redmi Watch 3. Now scroll down and find the app notifications and incoming calls. And here we can enable the notifications for the applications and the calls. If you want to enable the notifications for the applications, tap on App Notifications, tap on OK and allow required permissions. So basically it will redirect you to the uh, uh, notification access page. I believe in, on the newer versions of Android it's called something else. I believe it's apps and notifications or something like that. But basically it will redirect you to the list of applications. Tap on the Mi Fitness app on this list tap on the switch next to allow notification access, tap on allow. And once you allow it, you can go back to the app. And at this point, you should be able to enable and disable the app notifications. After you enable the notifications, you will see more options. You will be able to en uh, enable options like receive only when phone is locked and wake screen. The first option, what it does is basically, if you enable it and you're using your phone, the screen is unlocked, you won't receive the notifications on your uh, smartwatch. And if you disable it, you will receive them even though if the screen is enabled. And if you enable wake screen option, basically when you receive the notifications on your watch, it will wake up the screen on it. That's how it works. Okay. And uh, below we have more options. And here we have sync all notifications and custom notifications. Basically here you can select uh, to enable the notifications for all the apps on your phone or only specific ones. If you want to enable the notifications for the specific applications, you need to disable the all notifications option. Then tap on custom notifications. It will open the list of applications. And here you can scroll through the list and enable the uh, notifications for the specific apps, for example, Discord. And once you enable the notification for the app, or notifications rather, when you receive them on your phone, basically you receive the notifications, for example, from Discord on your phone, they will be forwarded to your watch. And if you disable them, they won't be forwarded, so you will see them only on your phone. That's how it works. Okay, and once you're done, you can tap on the done button and you can go back to the device page and we can also enable the notifications for the calls. So you can tap on incoming calls, tap on the switch, allow the required permissions. And at this point, it should be enabled. So uh, we should be able to receive the notifications on our watch now. So I'm going to send myself a message on the Discord. And as you can see, we got it on our phone and also on our watch. Uh, you can clear them. You can open them on the phone if you want to. Another thing you can do is to open the notification panel by swiping down from the top of the screen on the home screen. And of course you can tap on the notification, I believe to read it. And then you can tap on clear all, like I said before and stuff like that. Okay. And that's how you enable the uh, phone notifications for this watch on the Android phone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.